We're here at McGee Hospital in the gym, and we're talking with the founder of Operation Walk, Dr. Tony DeJoya. DeJoya. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how Operation Walk started? Operation Walk originally was uh, created by a friend of mine from Los Angeles, uh, Dr. Larry Doerr, who initiated the program and, and then it spread the uh, effort through nine cities in North America, of which Pittsburgh became one, was selected as one of the cities to uh, also participate. And the original concept with Operation Walk was that uh, we, uh, as a travel team, would go to foreign countries, uh, in our case the Caribbean and Latin America, and perform joint replacement surgeries on patients in need uh, in those countries. Uh, but last year, uh, we were one of the first uh, Operation Walk teams that uh, decided to also do this in the United States as well. So it was our first effort where we operated on patients for free here in our program uh, for patients in need of hip and knee replacement. So this is our second year, which we hope to make a, a annual event during the week of Thanksgiving in which we can give back to the community. And uh, you mentioned that you travel uh, overseas as part of Operation Walk. Um, where, um, where have you been recently, and, and um, how have you helped patients there? So we, we recently just returned from Panama City, Panama. Um, our 2011 trip was two months ago. Uh, we traveled with 55 members uh, from the United States and performed 55 joint replacements on 45 patients in a period of seven days in Panama City. Uh, the two years prior to that, we traveled to Antigua in Guatemala uh, to perform the same kinds of surgeries as well. So this is, has been our third year uh, doing the into Latin America. Uh, what type of impact does Operation Walk uh, have on a on a patient's life? Well, we're, we're very fortunate in the area we work in, in that we can actually cure patients of their disease. So we can cure patients of hip and knee arthritis, and once you take away their pain from the arthritis, it's amazing what uh, uh, patients can do. And even any patient, all our patients here in the United States, we always get uh, 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 thanks of the, that we transform their lives. Uh, they go from being nearly bedridden to all of a sudden be able to travel and do the things they want to do and play with grandkids and be active and bicycle. So it's truly a transformation in the, in the kinds of things, the impact on their lives. When you take that one step further, when you go to a country like uh, Panama or Guatemala City where maybe they would do uh, a handful of joint replacements in the entire country in one year, these patients have been living with hip and knee arthritis for many, many, many years, many more years than our patients do here. And those societies are really walking societies. I mean, they need to be able to be mobile to be able to participate in the society. So when you go, it sort of takes the level of um, satisfaction both for us and for them. When you cure them of their arthritis, they can really participate in their family lives, in their cultural lives, in, the, in their communities. And it's, it's uh, very satisfying to see that kind of transformation. And the patients are always, as here, but they're always very thankful because they know without the efforts of uh, Operation Walk Pittsburgh that they would not be able to be able to walk pain free. And uh, how can people get involved with Operation Walk? Lots of ways to get involved. Uh, this program is completely supported uh, by donations, and, by, and donations not just in dollars, but in time and in supplies. As an example, uh, in our recent trip, uh, we had every single implant donated, every single uh, person, 55 team members donated their time. Uh, we brought every medicine that we needed, every therapy uh, tool, every walker. Uh, we bring. We brought up over 6,000 pounds of supplies to support the the team for a week. So the way people can get involved is uh, they can donate their time. They can help us uh, raise money for these kinds of events. They can help us raise supplies from donations. Our patients, uh, for instance, uh, donate back their walkers. Then after they're cured of their disease, they give it to us, and we take it down on the trips as well. So there's many, many ways for people to participate. And also to keep in mind that to be a volunteer, you don't necessarily have to even be on the travel team. Uh, we have many people, particularly in Pittsburgh, that are supporting the travel team but don't necessarily want to make the trip themselves. And there's lots of opportunities for people to participate in that, uh, that way as well. And how can uh, someone find more information about you? Best uh, is our website. It's uh, operationwalkpgh.org. Uh, 
Uh, there's uh, lots of information there on the background, but you can also sign up for a, uh, our, our newsletter and our web blast, which we update uh, everyone on the progress of our uh, upcoming trips and ways they can participate. And there's also a way to sign up as a volunteer on the, on the website as well. If they have any other questions, they can certainly contact me in my office. Um, uh, we're on, in the book, and we'd be glad to help uh, help uh, 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 steer their interest in the, in the right locations as well. Um, I think one of the things we're most proud of Bob, is um, this was truly a Pittsburgh effort. This is the strength of Pittsburgh, is putting a team together. And the team we put together was from all over West Pennsylvania. It didn't belong to any health system. It didn't belong to any one group. Um, we all came together uh, from Pittsburgh, Pittsburghers alike and make this happen, uh, both and when we travel away in the Caribbean, but also here in this program, too. This program is very unique in that, uh, and I give UPMC and McGee Women's Hospital particularly, donated every service for free, in addition to Dr. Hamlin and myself for taking care of this patient for this, this week's surgeries here at McGee. So uh, I think it's a, a special program that all Pittsburgh could be proud of. And like most things, we'd, uh, we really want to get Pittsburgh's name out there and show that we can really do this.